Hey, hey guys, let's do some more adding and subtracting. This time we're going to insert parentheses. Kind of a strange and kind of helpful way to do this. But go ahead and pause and copy this if you need to. But they will give you problems like that where they say insert parentheses in this problem and add. And what's going to happen is you're going to do this at first. Eventually, you won't need to do this anymore. It'll just come to you and just go left to right. But I'll show you two ways to do this. Okay, so let's look at the same thing. And let's make it look a little different. So add in parentheses, you got a negative 4 in parentheses. You're going to add a 3, that's a positive 3. You're going to subtract 2, that's the same thing as adding a negative 2. And you're going to subtract 6, that's the same thing as adding a negative 6. Make sure you understand what that means. If somebody says to you, uh, you know, again, don't, is that a minus 4 or is that negative 4? The answer is yes. It's both. Call it whatever you want. That's a minus 4. Is it negative 4? Same thing. Now, am I, am I subtracting 2 from that 3 or am I adding negative 2? Yes, you are. Same thing. Subtracting 2 on a number line, you go to the left, right? But if you add a negative 2, you go to the left, right? You're still going to the left. So it's the same thing. So let's actually add this together. So let our, uh, these are opposite signs. So we're going to take the absolute values, which are 4 and 3, and subtract them. So that's 4 minus 3. And that'll give us a 1. Now, is that a positive 1 or a negative 1? We look, that's farther away from 0. It's a negative. So look, there's my negative 1. Okay, so now I have negative 1 plus negative 2. And then we'll get to this in a second. Hold on. So those are the same sign. So we take the absolute values, 1 and 2. We add them. That's a 3. And we take the same sign that's a negative 3. So now we have negative 3 plus negative 6. And same thing. You have two numbers. They are uh, the same sign, both negative. So you add the absolute values. 3 plus 6 is 9. And you, the answer is you, you take the negative because both of those are negative, And there you go. And that's all there is to it. So, okay. Now, if we add these, you can do this two ways. And I'll, I'll we, we can, you know, I, you can leave them like this if you want. Or you can insert parentheses. It doesn't matter. If you like to insert parentheses at first, fine. You go right ahead and do it. Whatever makes this easier for you. But make sure you know your tables, all right? So let's insert parentheses. I got a negative 2 plus, that's a positive 3. And then minus 5 is the same thing as going, oh, plus a negative 5. And then plus a 7 is the same thing as going plus 7. Okay, let's just go. So negative 2 plus positive 3, different signs. We subtract the absolute values. 3 minus 2 is 1. Should it be negative 1 or positive 1? That's farther away from 0. It's a 1, positive 1. Positive 1 plus negative 5. These are opposites. So you take the absolute values and subtract them. 5 minus 1, 4. Should it be negative 4 or positive 4? That's farther away from 0. That matches negative 4. Negative 4 plus positive 7, different signs. So you take the absolute values and subtract them. 7 minus 4 is 3. Should it be positive 3 or negative 3? That's farther away from 0. That's a positive. So yep, yeah, that's a positive. There we go. Okay, that's all you need to do. All right. Um, try this one. You put parentheses in or not. Add it. Pause it. Tell me what you get. Let's do it together. Okay. Let's look. I can do this without parentheses this time if you want to. Negative 3 plus a negative 2. Those are both the same sign. So add the absolute values. 5 and add the negative 5. There we go. So negative 5 minus 6. Well, let's see here. Both of the same absolute, uh, the same signs. Excuse me. Add the absolute values. Five plus six is eleven, and take the same sign as both of those are. A negative eleven. Got it. Okay. Now negative eleven plus two. All right. Those are different signs. So I take the absolute values and subtract them. Eleven minus two is nine, and I go. That is farther away from zero, and it's a negative. So that's also a negative. So negative nine minus seven. These are the same signs. So I take the absolute values, 9 and 7, and I add them. 9 plus 7 is 16. Then I go back and go, oh, both of those are negative. So that's a negative. Boom. There's my answer. Okay. Now you can do this in two ways if you want. Now you, can, you might want to write this down. Anytime you add a bunch of signed numbers, you can do it in two ways. Either you can just go from left to right like we just did. That's a, that's a fine way. Or what you can do is you can lump together all the positive numbers in one chunk and then get together all the negatives in one chunk and then just do one final addition or subtraction problem or whatever you want to call it. So pick one of those. You can pause it, of course. Okay, let's try method one. Let's just go left to right, okay? Let's just do two at a time. 
And that's, yeah, that's all you ever need to do, okay? Doesn't matter if there's 50 in a row, just do two at a time. Okay, negative three plus negative four, which is the same thing as negative three minus four, okay? Both the same sign, so you take the absolute values and add them, three plus four is seven. And then you take the sign from both of them, boom, negative seven, there you go. Now we're gonna add eight to that. So let's just focus on this. Negative seven plus eight, different signs. So we subtract the absolute values. Eight minus seven is one. Should it be positive one or negative one? That is farther away from zero than that, so it's gonna be a positive one, there you go. Minus six, let's do that one. Plus one minus six, well, I'm gonna add, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna, they're different signs, so I subtract the absolute values. Six minus one is five. Now should I take a negative five or should I take a positive five? Well, that is farther away from zero than that. That's a negative, this is a negative as well. So negative five plus five, those are different signs. So we're gonna take the absolute values and subtract them. Well, five minus five is zero, Not to quit. Nothing else to do. Not, oh, was it negative zero or positive zero? Let's quit right there. Okay. All right. Let's try method two. This is exactly the same problem. You see it? Same thing? Okay. Instead, let's lump all the negatives together. Those are two negatives. Let's get those. And, oh, there's another one. Okay. So we have three of those together. Since all of these are the same sign, we know the answer is going to be negative, right? But since they're all negatives, we're adding them all together. It's going to be negative. So 3 plus 4 plus 6 is 13. And the answer will be negative 13. I'll stop right there. That makes sense? Okay. Um, so that's what you've got here. Now let's get this and this together. What's 8 plus 5? 13. Okay. Now we have a situation where we go, wait a minute, these are opposites. We subtract the absolute values. 13 minus 13, that's 0. Okay. Which is, of course, the same thing we just got a minute ago. Okay. Either one of those methods, you can do it, absolutely, if you want to, whichever one you like better. So, okay, try on page 235 to practice problems. Okay, let's just go, you know what, let's just go left to right on this one, see what we get. All right, let's try to do this mentally. Negative four plus six, opposites, six minus four is two, it's gonna be positive two because this is farther from zero. Okay, two minus one, oh, for heaven's six, we know that's gonna be a one right there. 1 plus 7, uh, you know, oh, wait a minute, did I say, that's, oh, that's a 2 minus 1, my bad, it's a 1. 1 plus 7, we know that's going to be an 8, okay, then 8 minus 3 is, of course, 5 plus 2 is, 5 plus 2 is 52, no, okay, it's 7, okay, all right, all right, let's try this one. This time, do this, the, um, lump together uh, the, the positives all together and the negatives all together, then do one final addition, uh, subtraction problem, whatever you want to call it, okay? So pause it and do that. Okay, here's a negative, here's a negative, here's a negative, and oh, they're all, everything else is positive. So what the heck, let's just get these all together. So negative two, negative four, and negative three, just look at the numbers. Two plus four plus three is nine. So this will be negative nine, right? You can put parentheses around it, kind of keep it separate. 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. Now, again, I want to make sure you understand this. You could have stuck this 11 in front of this. You could have said, oh, positive 11, you know, plus negative 9. That's fine, whatever, no matter. So, but negative 9 plus positive 11 is the same thing. So these are opposite signs. You take the absolute values and you subtract them. That's going to be 2. The answer will be positive because that positive 11 is farther away from zero than negative nine. So that's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Have fun with these today. See you next time. Take care.